Tom, you still had plenty of time left on your previous deal. So is this a statement of commitment as much as anything else, do you think? Um, yeah, I think so. I think, um, I don't know, I just think the club's the club's been amazing to me um, ever since I got through the door and to to extend my contract again is, yeah, it's, it's an amazing feeling. And I want to, like I said many times, I just want to stay here for a long time and, and yeah, just finish my career, career here, hopefully. You've had four seasons at Fulham now last two as captain do you real, really feel like part of the fabric of the club now um yeah it feels um when you say that it feels like a lot longer that i've been here i mean there's been a lot of ups and and, and a few downs maybe like this season a, a little bit but um yeah I, this place feels like home i don't think you can put a price on on happiness and and, and life off the pitch as well so um yeah I, just, I can't see myself anywhere else and i'm just delighted to to, to sign that contract so is that your main motivation for signing a new deal, just how content you are at Fulham? Yeah, I think that's a, a big thing. And also, I don't know, I feel like I've got unfinished business. Um, I want to I wanna just stay here for a long time and I want to get the club back to the Premier League. I want to do it, hopefully, bounce straight back next season. I know I've got no, I'm not naive to know how hard the championship is and um, the teams get relegated. It's not as easy as I look at Stoke this season, for example, the bottom half. But um, knowing our owners and how ambitious the club is, um, I'm sure we'll give it a good go. And yeah, I've, I just I just want to get us back there for the fans as well, especially because at tough times this season, a lot of managerial changes. I think they've been they've been in, incredible. And yeah, I think that that game in May last year will, will live long in the memory, and I and I don't want to leave. You speak of ambition, and obviously the owners have got you tied down nice and early now, and that that shows that they're going into next season with. Nothing else in the thoughts, but trying to get back up straight away. Yeah, I mean the owners, the owners are amazing. I mean they they want the best for Fulham. I think look, you're getting promoted, and they you you know what you get a lot of money for getting promoted. I mean they they try to invest it straight away, and I mean we're the first promoted team in history to spend a hundred million, and that just shows what type of people our owners are, and they wanted the best for us. Okay, it's it's not worked out for various reasons, but um, the heart's in the right place, and I think that. I think that just typifies Fulham really. That's the, that's the type of club we are, and Fulham being Fulham, I'm sure I'm sure we'll bounce back in our own way. Club captain committing his future, it it sends such a positive message not just to the fans but hopefully to your teammates as well. Yeah, I mean, um, I, I hope so. Uh, I want I want to play in as strong side as possible in the championship. Um, I I hope the boys, you know, what I mean, stay together. I believe we will, um, and you know I mean, go away in the summer. Think about what's what's happened and we'll come again. It's football's football's crazy. Like I said, there's a lot of ups and downs, but I believe we've got so much quality in the dressing room. I think we're starting to see it a little bit now in recent performances under Scott, especially. I think it's I think it's been fantastic. And um, yeah, if we can if we can keep that going and take it into next season, then I'm, sh I'm sure we'll hit the ground running. You've had two promotion charges with Fulham, one obviously successful, one not. Do yeah. you think that stands us in good stead for our, our attempt next season? Yeah, I think so. I think you need ex a bit of experience, championship experience. Um, I think the first time, well, I remember when Fulham first came down a few years ago, um, they struggled in the first season. And even the second season when I first arrived, it, w it wasn't easy. But I think we've got a few cham experienced championship players in with young quality. And um, yeah, we've, we've thrived since then. So um, yeah, I fancy us if we can keep a good group together, the good core, good team spirit. Um, if you don't get anywhere without that, and yeah, we'll, we'll look to bounce back. We spoke to you after the Watford game and obviously things were a little bit sombre at that time, but just talk to us about how the move, mood has changed and what these three wins on the spin have done. I've said it many, many times. And it's, I think since Scott walked through the door and the new coaching staff, it's it's a new lease of life. There's a there's a buzz around the training ground. The, the training's gone up, the tempo, um, the detail in the meetings. I think you can see on a Saturday... We have a we have an idea on the ball. We have a clear idea off the ball, and everyone's working for each other. And I think everyone wants the best for each other. And no matter how much ability and stuff you've got in the squad, I think if 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 you haven't got that that bond and that work rate that we're showing at the minute, um, you don't get anywhere. And I think I think that's a credit to credit to the manager from for installing that so early because it's it's difficult. It's so difficult coming in at the stage he did and doing the job he's done. Mm. And last few weeks, Fulham have been winning every week. New contract for you and a baby as well. Not bad going, is it? Nice. Yeah, it's been um it's been a crazy few weeks, uh, a great few weeks, a few bad nights, sleepless nights. <laughs> but uh, it's all it's all part of it. But yeah, it's a special time and yeah, I'm enjoying life.